Dr. Jeffrey Cecil in Durham, North Carolina. I've been practicing for almost 30 years, be 30 years this year, and have incorporated some new technology in the office with the LAVA Ultimate Crowns and the 3M True Definition Scanner. You want a good millimeter and a half reduction on the occlusal table. You want a good millimeter on the walls, and you want a good rounded shoulder prep at the margin. Before you start scanning, you need to make sure that your prep is clean, all the debris is cleaned off of it, and a good dry prep so the powder will adhere properly. And as we incorporated the 3M True Definition Scanner, we also incorporated the new 3M Lava Ultimate Crown. Probably the, the, one of the biggest advances I've seen in my 30 years. It's a great crown. It's a nano ceramic, nano resin plus ceramic technology, which allows for a lot of compression and resistance factors that you just don't see in Emacs or the other crowns. And that crown is very easy to get ready to put in the mouth and to prepare it. My lab that I use, sends me a crown that is ready to install, ready to, to cement. But if you did mill those in the office, the procedure is very straightforward. It's a matter of cutting the sprue off, polishing it with a rubber wheel, using a polishing paste with a Robinson bristle brush. It polishes up great. Then you sandblast the inside with a 50 micron sandblasting material that roughens the surface and prepares it for bonding. The other thing that's really nice that I do in the office is if I had to adjust the occlusion, which is very rare, then I can polish that very rapidly chair side with the same materials. Now once the crown is all polished up and you're ready to take it to the mouth, you need to put it in an ultrasonic bath to clean it with, get all the polishing material off of it. One of the things you don't want to do is use any kind of acid on the inside of the surface of the crown. At that point, all I need to do is finish the crown, try it in, and if it fits well, rinse the prep thoroughly, clean up all debris. The next step will be to apply Scotch Bond primer to the inside of the crown. You would use your Scotch Bond universal adhesive and take a brush, apply it to the tooth, and rub it in for about 20 seconds. Once that's done, you're ready to go to the cement stage. We actually use a self-etch technique on the prep, particularly since there's no enamel present on the prep. If you had enamel, you would probably need to go to the total etch technique, but with no enamel, we can use a self-etch technique. You would then place your Rely-X Ultimate Cement inside the crown and seat it in place on the prep. Gently remove the excess cement from the margin, once the excess cement is removed from the margin, total cure the cement for 20 seconds on the buckle, 20 seconds on the lingual, and 20 seconds on the occlusal for a total of 60 seconds, and then it's completely cured. We polish off the margins and the crown is ready to go.